When I recovered consciousness, oh. I was alone, washed up on the riverbank. My head was aching fiercely, and my mouth tasted like a swamp. But I followed the sound and discovered a tree house in a nearby clearing. I'm sorry, headphone users. Wow. That was loud. Alright, let's pick up a vine. That vine rope could be useful. Uh, the machine was broken. It's the a washing machine. The machine consisted of a crude wooden wheel with wooden slats. Alright, nothing else. There's a bridge. It would have been a shame to tamper with the elegant bridge. Perfect for a game of poo sticks. Look at all this machinery. The water wheel had been built to provide a natural source of power. The wheel had a rim of roughly beaten iron. It seemed to be working just fine. What the is it? The wooden box was connected to the nearby water wheel. Bushes. Well, these leaves are moving. It was a pile of damp leaves. It was a pile of damp leaves. All right, nice to know. Let's pick up this cross. It was heavy. I guess that was intentional. It with the leaves. No? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I know, I know, no. Fine. With this. No? Okay. I do it with the press then? Yeah, I do. I'm sure I have to attach the vines to that, I think. Oh no, I remember. The leverage from the cross allowed me to turn one of the stones, but the other one remained stationary. No, I don't. Uh. Do I have anything that actually goes in there? Or am I just being an idiot? Ah! The cone was uh -huh. ideal as a makeshift container. Uh, well... It's very cruel, but... No. No. I know this is annoying, but basically I'd rather do this than sort of question everything. Ah! Ah! <laughs> the vine provided a drive belt to connect the two stones. I know what I'm doing! No, no, don't. Okay, well, I need to go up there. But I can't because the ladder's up. Hello? Anyone home? You can't hear me because the, the music. I'd always wanted a treehouse like that when I was a kid. I don't think there's anything else I can do. It was a pile of... It was a pile of damp leaves. Um... Put that in there. Nope. Um... Quick! Oh, I didn't want you to climb. Quick, before the music starts playing again. Damn. There was no way of climbing up to the treehouse. Oh, this works now, doesn't it? Now I had the contraption working. Uh, da, 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 da. Can't leave. Come on. Shout. Shout. There was no way of. God damn it. Hmm. I need to stop this, I think. 
But I don't know how. I'm gonna use these to pick up. No. I tried everything with that, didn't I? Um. Uh, is there anything else around? That. Can't leave. I think we're going to have to have a hint. I'd rather not have a hint, but I can't remember, so it's going to have to be a hint. It's the one, though. Perhaps you can get the attention of whoever's in the treehouse. Thank you, I've tried that. Nothing. Next one. Fire might attract their attention. Yes, I get that, but what do I need? There's a blank statement into the leaves near the pump. Okay, blank statement. That's that, isn't it? Yes. I placed the bank statement over the damp leaves. Now what? <laughs> that didn't help me any, any, any at all. Use a small statue on the water wheel. Okay. Stop it or slow it down. As I held the fetish to the iron rim of the wheel, a shower oh. of sparks cascaded onto the leaves. Hooray! There we go, we did it. I was ahead of myself. Quick man, put out that pyre. I got a sick woman up here. Sorry, Father, Pyaw. but I needed to attract your attention. Treasure lit, it was a pile of damp leaves. Let me up. Thank you. No, don't come down, I want to go up. <laughs> Who are you? And what do you want? My name is Stobart, George Stobart. I'm Father Hubert. I don't suppose you speak French, huh? Why do you want to know that? I found a young woman with a fever by the river this morning. The poor girl is close to death. And there's nothing I can do for her but pray. I don't understand her, but I think she's speaking French. Hang on. That must be Nico. Father. What are you doing out here in the jungle? God's work. Not quite the destination I had in mind when I set out, but... I don't know what they say. Mysterious ways and so on. You didn't plan to end up here? No. I was on my way to the miners' camp in the north. I was stuck here when my boat capsized on the river. That's exactly Robot. what happened to me. How long have you been here? Eleven years. Wow. That's my girlfriend you've got in your treehouse. What's the matter with her? She's been bitten by a venomous river snake. But can't you do something for her? There's a cure, isn't there? I ran out of penicillin and morphine years ago, but the local people speak of a root which they believe will counteract the poison. Where can I find this root? I don't know, but maybe the shaman at the village can tell us. Will you show me the way to the village? Me? Oh, but I can't. Can't? Nico's life depends on it. You're right. Of course, I should, despite my own guilt and shame. But. I can't go as a representative of God with a creased collar. A creased collar? You mean you put your personal attire higher than the life of a sick woman? What an I asshole! I will not that village looking anything but my best. Give me your collar. I'm sure I can find a way to press it. I can, because I've actually got it all figured out. <laughs> In the meantime, I must contemplate my sermon. There was obviously more than a creased collar bothering the priest. Oh, there you go. Pressed collar now. So there I was, hundreds of miles from civilization, doing the housework for a priest. It's a strange world. It's a strange world after all. It's a strange world after all. There you go. The press worked surprisingly well on the collar. There you go, sir. Yeah. 
kill that. Done. Here's your collar, father. Simple. Thank you, George. You probably think it a little odd of me to make such a putz. Oh, no. If I'd been living in the jungle for 11 years, I'd be completely screwy, too. Screwy? <laughs> yes. Perhaps I am. Ever since my last visit to that village. He doesn't like it, does he? Do you want to tell me what happened at the village? I took off my vows. I let myself be overwhelmed by the beauty of this unspoiled paradise. And in a moment of weakness, animal passion reared its zampered head. You know, you should be writing romantic novels. Did you experience some kind of a physical liaison at the village? Yes, I'm ashamed to admit it, but I found myself doing the monkey dance. I've never heard it called that before. And I didn't want to pry any deeper into Hubert's murky past. Now you've got your collar back, will you take me to the Let's village? Go. I still not finished my sermon. I don't Look, care. Father, I still don't know why you're so reluctant to visit that village. And it's none of my business. Whatever the reason, it can't be more important than saving Nico's life. You're right. I must be crazy. We must make haste if we're to reach the village before nightfall. Let's go! By the time we reached the village, it was sunset. Hooray, we're here! Hello, friends. Hello, boys. Glad to see you're still wearing the underpants, what? <laughs> They're the best Christmas present we ever had, Father. Mine are too tight. Well, we all have our cross to bear. Uh, this is George. He has a request to make. I'm afraid I can't stay. Good luck, George. <laughs> Bye, I'm out. Done. All right. That's a relief. I never feel comfortable with him about. Me neither. These damn pants keep riding right up my butt. So, what do you want? My girlfriend has been bitten by a snake. So? Everyone in my family has been bitten by snakes. I was bitten by a dormouse once. She's real sick. I hoped your wise man might have medicine. Wise man? You must have the wrong village. Father Hubert said there was a wise man in the village who could help me. Ooh, he must mean the old man, the shaman. Are you going to stand by and let my girlfriend die? Of course not. What do you think we are, savages? We'll start the preparations for a cremation feast. Ah, the old ways. I'd like to see the shaman, please. You can't just go walking in there and demand to speak to the shaman. Why not? You have to observe the protocol. The shaman demands tribute. Tribute? You mean, like a gift? That's right. The eternal question. What do you give a man who has everything? A tequila worm! <laughs> Look, I know it's not much, but I want your shaman to have this. Do you expect him to eat that? <laughs> He's an old man, you know. He might choke. Uh... Oh, it re oh, didn't work. I thought it did. Give me a clue. Oh, well. What kind of things does your shaman like? Does he have a hobby, a favorite sport? You insult us. The shaman lives on a higher plane. Oh, right. Maybe a book would be more suitable. Or a jigsaw puzzle? Don't you just hate choosing presents for people you don't know? How about some dog biscuits? Here, he'll like these biscuits. If you say so. Biscuits! Giant biscuits. He liked the biscuits, especially the black ones. He wants to know if you've any more. No. Do I have anything else? Lipstick? Would your wise man have any use for lipstick? Not in that color. Haven't you anything in black? Of course I don't. How about this stone? This stone is what brought me here. That's a spirit stone. I wouldn't touch it if I was you. Too late. You're right. It could be cursed. All right, he wants more dog biscuits. There wasn't much point in sending the empty box back to the shaman. 
Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's that. I put my lucky piece of coal in the empty box. See? The coal was useful. The coal was useful. Ha! Well, no, don't do Stop. that. Stop. This is a private village. I didn't want you to do that. I want you to click on the guard. I want to give him this. Here. I found some more of those biscuits for the shaman. I'll give them to him. There we go. That should be that should be me in. Hopefully. The shaman didn't want the black rock. Damn. All right, that's not what it was. It's putting something in it, I know, isn't it? I think it's this. I put the statue in the empty box. Can I put anything else in it as well? There's already something. No, okay. Let's give him that then. Here, I found some more of those biscuits for the shaman. If it's not that statue, it'll be give them to the other, the uh, cursed stone thing with the coyote on it. The shaman said to give you back this statue. Nope. He didn't want it? He's already got one. Damn. So it probably is the statue. No, it probably is the coyote stone. That in there. I put the Mayans... There's nothing else I can put in there. Here. I found some more of those biscuits for the shaman. I'll give them to him. Hopefully. That is my entrance. He hasn't got the box, so yeah, it must be. The shaman wants to talk to you. Hooray! I hope you well, it's been nice to talk to you guys. Alright, going in. There's a woman here, apparently. There she is. Let's talk to her. That woman certainly wasn't the reason I'd come to the village. All right, can't talk to her. Let's look I at the basket. couldn't think of any reason to steal the villagers' rock collection. Naked kids. That man wasn't the one I'd come looking for. Run free, my friends! Run free! Hi, my name's George Stobart. Please sit down. Hello, shaman. Welcome, George. Thanks. It has long been foretold that a white man would bring the coyote stone to this village. All right. My girlfriend's been bitten by a snake. And you want me to heal her? That's the idea. Can you do it? I'm not sure. My gums aren't what they used to be. I like the fact that this picture doesn't have a beard. But it's obvious that my actual character from the original game has a beard. Listen, my girlfriend's in Come a Come on, coma. game developers. Please, old man, give me the root. What root? Why is Father Hubert so reluctant to visit the village? I don't know. He used to come here a lot, but then he just stopped. You'd think he'd want to spend some time with his kids. Oh, my. Did you say Father Hubert has kids? Three girls and five boys, by my reckoning, all conceived in the same week at the Feast of the Monkey Dance. Bow chicka bow wow! Father Hubert told me of a root which could cure the bite of the river snake. Tuh. There's nothing sacred with these people. That was our secret, known only to members of my tribe. If that root is my chance of saving Nico's life, then I want it. Fast. There is time yet, George Stobart. Time to learn why you were called here. Fine. If I listen to your story, then will you give me the route? The eel travels far, but still returns to the place of his spawning. And look, I'm running a tight schedule, so can you skip the riddles? Yay! Cutscene! Many years ago, when the world was young, 
great god and king Quetzalcoatl was defeated by trickery and deceit. His enemy Tezcatlipoca took his place as leader and demanded terrible human sacrifices. A group of loyal priests found a way to trap Tezcatlipoca. But his powers were so great, they knew he would not remain trapped forever. His time of incarceration would end with the eclipse, which marked the close of the fifth age. So the priests fashioned three obsidian stones which contained the power to seal the mirror for all time. But before the stones could be put in place, they were seized by the invading Spanish. But how did they trap Tez, the evil god? They built a pyramid which they told Tezcatlipoca was dedicated to him. At its center, they fashioned a huge mirror of perfectly smooth obsidian. Luring him into the pyramid with praise and flattery, they used sorcery to ensnare him in the mirror. There's an eclipse of the sun due very soon, isn't there? Correct. The eclipse which marks the ending of the Fifth Age will come before the next full moon. Less than two weeks. I didn't really believe that Tez Catlipoca would return, but I figured Karzak's plans were in some way connected. What happened to the stones? They were taken by the Spanish to the coastal town that is now called Cuaramonte City. Only one stone reached Spain. The other two fell into the hands of buccaneers. The Jaguar stone was captured by an English captain, El Draco. The Eagle Stone was taken by a pirate called Ketch. The third stone, the Coyote Stone, reached Spain safely. That is the stone in your possession. Then it found its way to France. Tell me more about the Jaguar Stone. Many centuries ago, the port of Cuaramonte was entered by a ship flying Spanish colors. The captain, the man known as El Draco, sent soldiers ashore. Only when the soldiers arrested the mayor did the people realize that they were English privateers. The mayor was held hostage while the soldiers looted and plundered the city. Amongst the treasures they stole was the Jaguar Stone. Where is the Jaguar Stone now? I suppose El Draco took it back to his homeland, across the Great Sea. To England? Tell me more about the Eagle Stone. Are we going the to stone London? The was loaded onto a galleon with many valuable artifacts plundered by the Spanish. But shortly after leaving harbor, a terrible squall blew up and damaged the ship. The ship was intercepted by a bloodthirsty pirate, Captain Ketch. Ketch made short work of overpowering the crew, stealing the treasure, and sinking the Spanish ship. Where's the Eagle Stone now? Nobody knows for sure. Ketch retired from piracy and bought an island in the Caribbean. What do I do when I find the stones? Bring them here to me and I shall prepare you. The stones must be taken to the heart of the pyramid. Only there can they be used to seal the gate by which Tezcatlipoca will return to this world. Now I have the route? I get the route? Here, take it. Make haste if you wish to save the girl's life. The hummingbird sings to me of death to come. Now you're talking in riddles again. Listen, is it okay if I crash here? I've got no chance of finding my way through the jungle in the dark. You're welcome, but you probably won't get much sleep. Tonight's the night of the monkey dance. Monkey dance!